What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss extremely exciting upcoming welterweight matchup. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. All right, guys, getting right into it. We got Kevin Holland taking on Santiago Ponzanibio. UFC 287, UFC Miami on the main card, pay-per-view card. Extremely exciting matchup. Fireworks. This fight, in my opinion, should be fucking wild. Yeah, Kevin Holland, yeah, he's coming off of two straight losses to Hamza Chemaev and Wonderboy last December in a fight where he broke his hand, and that might play a big factor in this matchup here against Santiago Ponzinibbio, where he's going against a guy who's extremely durable. He's been there. He's done that. He's fought all the top contenders. He's coming off of a knockout victory over Alex Morono. In a fight, though, he was definitely losing. Alex was catching him a lot in that fight. He's lately been very hittable. He had the loss to Michelle Pereira. Jeff Neal, he had the victory over um, Miguel Baeza in a, I think it was fight of the night, almost fight of the year matchup. But ever since he's come back from his injury after his Neil Magny fight, because he's been out for, he was out for a long time, and I think it was about three years. He had some infections. I know he had, a, I think, hand surgery. Before that, I mean, he had really solid victories over against guys like Neil Magny, Mike Perry, decimated Gunnar Nelson. I mean, he was looking very dangerous back in the day, and then when he came back, he took that loss against the leech where the leech just totally took him out so he's just a lot of inconsistency has been with santiago since he's come back from his injury he hasn't really looked as good a shape he's been a little bit hesitant hasn't looked as sharp i think he's just really had issues staying healthy staying in the gym completing full camps and going against a guy like kevin holland who recently broke his hand i'm really curious to see how he's going to react because he broke his hand, what, three months ago, four months ago? So, like, how big of a fight camp has could he really have had? So, do we really see Kevin Holland really going in the gym getting better? I can see him staying in shape, but with this time frame, it's just like, I feel like he just, Kevin Holland is his own worst enemy is the best way I can describe it, right? Like, he, he went from fighter of the year, big mouth, and then... Going against guys like Marvin Vittori, and who was it? Who was it? Um, Derek Brunson, where he was just out-wrestled, out-strengthened, I guess you could say. Like, these guys were just stronger. Their wrestling was just way better. He was just held down by those upper middleweight guys. So to see him come back at welterweight, he can definitely find success, a lot of success. I can see him definitely being in the top 10, top 7 possibly. I can definitely see that happening. But him coming back so quick after this hand injury, I just, he always seems to kind of jump in on short notice. And I think that can kind of go to his detriment moving forward. But I'd like to see what's going to happen in this matchup because going against a guy like Santiago Ponzinibbio, who's definitely been very hittable lately, Kevin Holland can definitely capitalize that early on, especially I, I can definitely see him having a game plan, want to get in there and take Santiago, take Santiago out early. And Kevin ha definitely has that ability where he had the victory over Cowboy Oliveira. He had the victory over Tim Means. So he goes out there, he puts the pressure on, especially against a guy like Santiago who likes to do the same thing. I can definitely see Kevin Holland coming on top of this fight, but I'd like to see how healthy he is when he walks into the octagon. And same thing goes for Santiago. You have two guys who just have health issues, love to stand and bang, but I expect a very wild matchup. A lot of boxing, elbows, but uh, if I'm a betting man, I would probably be going on uh, Kevin Holland in this matchup. I just think that he's the better, more technical, younger fighter. Santiago now is about 36 years old. So with him being so hesitant, unhealthy lately, so inconsistent, you have two guys kind of in the same boat with their backs against the wall. But I think Kevin Holland is going to come on top in this fight. Yeah. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. If you guys think Kevin Holland is going to come out on top, do you guys think it's Santiago Ponzinibbio's time? Love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section. Guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. All right, guys, Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.